Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, uh, Danielle, Cheryl, I know you both are very active and you exercise every day, of course, right? <laughs> every uh, day. <laughs> right. Well, but we also do it to support our physical and our mental health. So when you find an activity that's great for your health and ladies, it's a ton of fun. It's kind of like hitting the jackpot, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I love to do. And our next guest just may convince you that an electric mountain bike needs to be on your to-do list. Please welcome Tony Ferreira from Vegas Hyper Adventures. Okay, this sounds really cool. Thanks for joining us on Main Street Living. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the opportunity to be on the show. Oh, so first of all, let's start with this. Tell us what led you to mountain biking? Why are you so passionate about it? I mean, first, you know, first and foremost, uh, you know, like you guys hit it, it's just the health aspect of it. Um, I was just coming off a heart attack and I needed to get out and about. I needed to get physical and get get healthy and I needed to do it quickly. Um, so I bought a mountain bike and and just started getting on that thing. And I noticed, you know, a huge transformation in not just my my physical appearance, but my my happiness and my you know, my mood and everything about it that goes with it. And so it, it, it had a lot to do with health. Oh, so it had, I mean, that's a pretty profound impact really on your health. What made you decide on mountain biking as the way to get back on track with your health? Um, again, you know, uh, after my heart attack, having some conversations with my cardiologist, um, I, I, I told him that I was buying a mountain bike, a mountain bike. And then the next time I went and seen him, he said, you know, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I told him, what, you know, that I was mountain biking. And he said that that could be the best, that's the best thing you can do for your heart. Because what it does is when you climb, it elevates your heart rate to, to the max potential, which then opens up your arteries and clears out your arteries. So, I mean, that was a win-win for me. It was a no-brainer. So I just started doing it and then I fell in love with it. I mean, as a kid, I always rode and was in love with mountain bike or, you know, BMX bikes back then. But uh, the mountain bike thing really just sat well with me. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. And it sounds like you have an amazing cardiologist looking after you. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Glad he's on board for all of this. Well, thank so, you. you. Now, I want to talk about electric mountain bikes. And because you made the switch, what made you do that? <laughs> well, what made me switch was I had a, I had a regular trail bike and I, I bought my wife a trail bike and we went out one day and she rode, she now, now, now this is no knock on my wife, but she does sit behind the desk a lot. So she rode about three or five minutes and she just couldn't do it. She that said, would be you know, well, it's physical, you know, I mean, it really is. If it's a trail, you know, regular trail bike and she couldn't do it. So she said to me, she said, if you can get me, if you buy me an electric bike, I'll do this. So she didn't think I was going to find one for, you know, <laughs> affordable. And I, I found one and I bought her an electric bike and, you know, she, we went out again and a few other times. And the problem was now I couldn't keep up with her. She oh. was gone. I mean, for somebody who couldn't ride was like so far ahead of me and I'm, you know, pedaling my poor little cushy off trying to keep up with her. And she is literally gone. So that made me go out and buy one and the rest is history. Well, it's always good to have somebody that's pushing you, I think. So you made your own pacer there. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. No doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. And, I actually yeah, just, I, I just got back from Las Vegas for a conference and man, it was 110 degrees, I have to tell you. So I think when people think of Las Vegas, they don't usually think about the beautiful scenery and being outdoor. What are we all missing? Well, I, I really, truly believe you're missing a lot. I mean, it, it is amazing. Right now, I'm looking at the temperature gauge on my computer, and it's 101 degrees at, at 10 o'clock in the morning. So um, it is amazing that, you know, that, that it is as hot as it is here. But people are coming out in droves. You know, Las Vegas is back um, after the pandemic, and, and the heat doesn't bother anybody. We're booked. All the all the mountain bike touring companies are booked. And when I go riding, they're all out there. Um, what you're missing is absolute beautiful scenery. Um, we have some of the most incredible, uh, you know, historic scenes. We have, you know, Hoover Dam. We have Lake Mead, even though it's Aww. historically low right now. We still have water in there. And we have Red Rock Mountains. We have Utah, which is just our neighbor right down the street, you know, not far away from here. 
So getting on a mountain bike and getting out into nature, it is, it is, I, I can't even put words to it of what it does for your, for your mind. I mean, and I think a lot of us need that right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's funny. I mean, sorry, Cheryl, but yeah, when I'm in Vegas, I feel like I'm constantly going from air conditioned building to another air conditioned building. So it's so nice to get outside. And I've been to Red Rock, and it's much cooler out there. And it's it's just right. such a beautiful, beautiful place to see. Oh, right, yeah. and not to mention, I'm sorry, but not to mention, we have Mount Charleston too, which gets yeah. about another 20 degrees cooler up there. Now, to go mountain biking in Mount Charleston, you have to be a little, you know, you have to be a more than a beginner rider out there. It's a little. It's a little challenging out there, but you know what? Getting off the bike and walking it is not a not an issue. Oh, uh, it's so good for the mind, body, and the soul. Absolutely. But I kind of absolutely. like your wife. And so I heard you mention pedaling. And when I think electric mountain bike, I don't think pedaling. So do you have to pedal? How does that work? Well, these particular bikes, I mean, there's several different kinds of electric bikes. Now, we're saying electric bikes. These are electric mountain bikes. So there is a difference. There's no throttle. Electric hmm. bikes have throttles. Electric mountain bikes are pedal assist. Hmm. So in other words, the power doesn't kick on until you pedal. Mm -hmm. And then your brakes are your best friend. As soon as you brake, the power cuts off. So there's safety features that I go over with the riders. Um, Behind me, I don't know how much you can see back there, but I got a couple pictures uh, up on the wall there. That's a picture of my bike, and we're, we rode to the edge of the Grand Canyon. Now, that's not one of my tours, but this was me and my wife. We rode to the edge of the Grand Canyon, a great ride. Um, the batteries are integrated into the bike, so as soon as you pedal, that power kicks on. And the beauty of it is somebody said, well, isn't it cheating? How do you, you know, do you really get a workout? I mean... Physically, yes, you get a workout, and there's two different ways. One, you can just throw it in low power, and, you know, it only gives you a little bit of assist. But where I find, like, if I don't have a, a tour and I just want to go and physically, you know, get my workout in, what I do is for cardio is you put it in turbo, which is power assist number five, and you do a what would normally take you maybe a two-hour ride you do in 40 minutes. Whoa. So basically, you know, basically you're flying through that ride. Now, <laughs> that's not my tour. I wouldn't <laughs> do this with my people. But for me, I just fly through that thing. I get my heart pounding. I get it going. And I'll tell you, I burn more calories in high power than I do in low. I believe it. I mean, Tony, and you've mentioned it. You've got tours. You fell in love with the electric mountain biking. You decided you want to share that with other people. So we want to hear all about the company you started, Vegas Hyper Adventures. But we're out of time in this segment. Can you stick around with us for one more? Oh, I'd love to. I appreciate that. All right. So we'll be back with Tony and we'll figure out what tour is best for each of us. <laughs> 